and Miles is a, a year into being a Spider-Man, right? Or not even a hero yet, right? Like he's just kind of learning the ropes. Uh, we see a big beat at the beginning of this game where he develops a new power. Can you kind of talk about that moment a little bit? Yeah, we wanted to make sure none of the Miles' iconic powers manifested off screen. That's something we wanted to see. So we knew he was going to be getting used to being a web slinger. You know, he wasn't going to have the same prowess as Peter Parker, but we knew he was going to at least be at a place where he could swing and he could do the combat and, and uh, basically a lot of the same functions that Peter has. So what we wanted to do was create these emotional moments, these, th these moments that sort of forces Miles to change. Because we really see this as a coming of age story and he's going to, to grow as a character. And this is one of those seminal moments where Peter is uh, on, on his back foot. He's, he's having a hard time and he's down. And Rhino has got him on the ropes. And Miles just has to summon something from within to protect his mentor. And that's when the bioelectricity surges through his body. And then we have this really iconic punch that, that Miles lands on Rhino. And that changes his trajectory of being coming his own Spider-Man. This Spider-Man is broken. I would like to exchange for new one. Ah, this one will do. Miles, get out of here. Bro, back the hell? Peter trusts Miles, and what Miles has to learn is, I have the suit, but what does it really mean to be a hero? And that's what our journey's about. He has skills, he has the powers, but he has to figure out what his version of that, of that mantle really means to him.